All right, guys, we're back. I uh, got a little bit of breaking news for you. Uh, something that's, I would say, quite unfortunate. That happens a lot in the sport of boxing. Uh, Alicia Bumgardner, the undisputed super featherweight champion, has popped hot for an illegal banned substance, guys. Uh, say it isn't so. Uh, I don't know what's going on over at Matchroom, but it seems to be a pattern as of late. I, I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Uh, we just had Dillian White popped hot for an illegal banned substance. Uh, you guys know he was supposed to face off against Anthony Joshua, and they had to replace him at the last minute with the Nordic nightmare, Robert Helenus. Now, Clarissa Shields, uh, she was supposed to face off against Hannah Gabriels for the second time, and Hannah Gabriels popped hot for an illegal banned substance in her system. Now, I'm not sure if she fights with Matchroom, but honestly, it doesn't really matter if it's Matchroom top rank or PBC, uh, it's, it's a problem in the sport of boxing and it's something that really does needs to be addressed. Now, <clears throat> Alicia Bumgardner fought uh, July the 15th. So he, she faced off against uh, Christina Lenartetau on the 15th of, of July. And this was the second time those two met. Uh, the, first, the first fight that they had that was the only loss that Alicia Baumgartner has on her record. She's 15 and one, and she did win this fight uh, this past 15th uh, last month uh, by unanimous decision. Now it comes into question whether or not you know it's going to be rule or no contest uh, due to the fact that they found this substance in her system. And Hannah Gabriel's is of course denying it. Uh, she brought on her Twitter. I'm not overthinking this situation. I know me and stand ten, do ten toes down. So, you know, it sounds like, you know, she's denying that she had an illegal banned substance in her system. Now, Matchroom did make a uh, official statement. I want to read the official statement to you guys. It says, Matchroom can today confirm that Alicia Bumgardner returned an adverse analytical finding as part of a random anti-doping protocol instituted voluntarily for her bout with Christina Leonardo Tao in Detroit on the 15th of July. Matchroom was first informed of this result on 12th of August. The applicable regulatory authorities are also aware and we defer to such bodies for further action and guidance as a full investigation is conducted. Matchroom is committed to promoting a clean and fair sport for all athletes and will assist Alicia and her team during this time, affording her the appropriate due process. And we and we want and we wait to receive more information. As we wait to receive more information, Matchroom will be making will not be making any further comments. So uh, there you have it. They're probably going to test out her B sample and see if the substance is in her B sample. Now the substance that they found uh, is called. Mester, Mester Rallone, Mester Rallone. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I want to pull up what this uh, Mester Rallone actually does uh, for athletes. So it says uh, Mester Rallone, which is an an androgen and anabolic steroid medication. It is commonly used to treat low testosterone levels in men in addition to his medical use, is also used by bodybuilders and athletes to enhance ability and improve muscle mass. So there, you, you hear that part about enhancing ability and improving muscle mass. Uh, Belisha Baumgarten, you guys know she's jacked. You know, she has a lot of muscle on her. She's very athletic. So, you know, that's not really looking too good in her favor, listening to what this Mestrolone actually does for an athlete. So, but... You know, I want to give her the benefit of the doubt. Uh, we'll see once the B sample comes back. Uh, I'm really interested in seeing what Michaela Meyer has to say about this. Uh, you guys know they had a knockdown drug out uh, build up to their fight. And, uh, you know, it, it'll be interesting. I, I would love to be a fly uh, on the wall in her room to hear what she has to say. Uh, I'm not sure she's made any statements yet about it, but uh, I'm sure she's probably going to have something to say. We'll, we'll wait around and see what happens with that. But anyway, guys, uh, you guys tell me what you think about this situation with Alicia Bumgarner. Uh, do you think she's innocent? Uh, do you think she got caught? 
you know, you guys let me know how you feel about it in the comment section. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.